Okay, so we're going to show you how to update the banners real quick. Um, it's a pretty simple process, so I'm just going to walk you through it. We go to components, and we go to DJ image slider, and we go to slides. Now, this is kind of like banners were in uh, Joomla 1.5. We've got categories. Um, right now we have the categories of rec and fitness, concert sponsors, home banners, ACS, and food and catering. This matters when you go to the module and then you basically select which category you want to use. Um, so that will show you what images uh, are going on there. So um, we're going to go ahead and create a new slide. And we're going to call this one Rail Jam 2013. Uh, it doesn't need an alias, the alias creates itself. Category, we're actually going to put to um, home banners. Published, yep, start publishing. You can put a finished publishing date on it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put January 20th on here because it looks like it uh, happens on uh, the 19th. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and slide image select. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to banners and home page. And it doesn't really matter where you put the image. Um, it just happens that this will help you a little bit keep organized and things like that. Um, then we're going to go to browse. And we're going to go ahead and select rail jam. Uh, you can see I've got two of them right here. Uh, this one's the fireworks version, and I'm going to use the JPEG version. JPEGs uh, have a tendency to load a little bit quicker. They're um, a lot less, uh, they're smaller in file size, so that's why they load quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and select on that, and then I'm going to start upload. It'll take just a second here. And then I click on it, and then I insert. All right, now, if I wanted to, I could be done with it right now. Um, now, there is going to be times where you want to link banners to articles or other menu items or whatever the case may be. So, for instance, we could go ahead and do a menu item, and it will show you all the different menu items in the website currently right now. You could also do a URL address. Um, this is really important. So, if you have something that's on the McCoy homepage, for instance, the actual Fort McCoy homepage, um, you could go ahead and then do the URL address, copy and paste it into there, and then you'd want to do target window and you would want to do new window because you're taking somebody else to a different website. You usually want to open up a new window because what happens if they want to come back to your website? Like, you know, sometimes back and things like that. It's just one of those things. Um, the other thing you can do is go ahead and do article. And then you can go ahead and select which article that you would want it to link to. So it's a nice little program. Um, it's a little bit easier than some of the other programs are, so works out kind of nice. Um, so for now, we're just going to go ahead and don't link. You can go ahead and change that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and save and close. It'll take just a second to upload it all up and make it all done. And you can see that it's successfully saved. Now you can scroll down here and you can see Rail Jam Categories Home Banners. So if we go back to the home page and we go ahead and click on Home. You can see it's not there yet. So what we want to do is we want to go back and we want to go to maintenance. And there's you don't necessarily need to do this. It will show up in like 10-15 minutes whenever the cache releases. Um, but let's just go ahead and clear the cache. And you, by doing that you go to site, maintenance, clear cache. And we just select everything and then we select delete. So if we come back over to the home page, for instance, and go ahead and hit refresh.
will be the last one. And there it is. So now the question is, well, I want that fifth one. I want that first. Well, that's pretty easy, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to go back over to DJ Image Slider, go back to the slides. And then we're going to select the category Home Banners. That way we can filter out the ones that we don't necessarily use right now. And we're just going to go ahead and move these up. So you can see we've gone ahead and moved it up. We're going to move it up some more. That way it's going to be the first one that we see. So you can see I've gone ahead and moved Rail Jam to the top one. Um, now, even if you go ahead and hit refresh, it's not going to show as the first one right now because it takes a while for the system to update. So uh, one of the ways to do this is basically just go ahead and clear the cache out. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then we'll hit refresh on the home page, and it should be the first one that we see then. I have to apologize. My internet's running a little slow. So you can see we got the clear cache. We go ahead and delete it. Once it's deleted, we go ahead and we go back to the home page, hit home. Wait for it to refresh. And you can see that it's the first one. Now you can also see that there's descriptions in there and things like that. Um, that's something we can go ahead and change out in the module. So let me show you a little bit about the module here too. Uh, we'll go over to Module Manager. And now we're back at the Module Manager. Uh, we're going to go to the home page slider. And from here you can see a lot of different things. So you can go ahead and it's actually, you can create more modules like this. A um, couple things that you want to keep in mind. So the module is DJ Image Slider. Um, the slider source you always want to use the component. You don't want to use the file folders and things like that. It just makes it really kind of screwy. Um, f slider type, I always use fade. Otherwise what happens is if you use horizontal or vertical, um, it will go across like the five and then it will swing all the way back to the first one which is kind of annoying so um, I just go ahead and use fade and it works a lot better uh, slides category you can see home banners uh, show title we have it turned on right now we're gonna go ahead and turn this off uh, and we're gonna turn the description off too um, if when we input the banner in we could have done a, a title and description uh, based on um, what you guys have wanted so far uh, you guys haven't really wanted that, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn that stuff off right now. Uh, you can see that the slide width and height in this instance is 750 by 350, and that's located right there. Um, so when you're creating your new banners, that's what you're going to want to go ahead and make those banners that size, that 750 by 350 pixels, um, so that way you can go ahead and do it. Um, you can see autoplay is turned on to yes. Show play pause. This is on mouse over. So if you mouse over right now, you can see that there's nothing here for play or pause. If I slide over it, you can see that this little icon comes on. Um, and we can go ahead and do it that way too. We do have these buttons up here that are left on at all times so people can click on them per your request. Um, and that's show custom navigation, yes. Show next previous, that's on mouse over. That again right here is this little right here and right here. Um, and then you've got all your different menus, so you can choose which menu you, or menu links you want it to show up on. For this one, we've got it only as home, so uh, this will only show up on the home page. It will not show up on like the CYSS pages and things like that. And we can go ahead and click save. 
Um, one of the nice features about Joomla 2.5 is that you can actually save and it will keep you on that page. So then you can go back and test what you just got done. You don't have to click save and close, which is a really nice feature in case you hadn't noticed so far. So right now, because um, we're going to have to go back over into the cache to make sure this is updated right away. The cache just helps your website run faster. Uh, it basically takes in, um, it's already downloaded all the content, so it kind of keeps it in a spare folder, so that way the next person that goes and gets it can like get it right away. Um, so kind of one of those things, tempor temporary internet files and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and clean out the cache. So you can see here, we're going to clean out the cache again. Delete. So now you can see, we can go back over to the home page, hit refresh, and you can see we've gone ahead and gotten rid of the descriptions and stuff. So um, basically that's it. Like they can basically do whatever um, you need to do with the banners and get them all inserted in and everything else. So hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.